few weeks ago, we had a doctor on talking about weight loss the healthy way. We talked also about having gastric bypasses and many other ways to lose weight. And while he was here, I overheard one of our engineers talk about how he used to be a real heavy guy and he had lost weight. I thought he was kidding. I ran out to talk to him and come to find out Ricky Carter has many different sides. He's an engineer here with us at Channel 4. He also is brother Ricky Carter with the Legends Radio Show Saturday nights on 95.5. And yes, he has lost a whole person. There he is as brother Ricky Carter. And he has a heritage behind him in this area. First of all, before we get into your weight loss, Ricky, you know, Farley Taylor, Charlie Gilmore, they were your predecessors. They certainly were. And you have kept up the old-time country music with the legendary sounds and so forth. How do you feel about people uh, still liking that kind of music, and how did you get part of it? Well, I think it's great because it is the music that today's music was built on. Mm -hmm. And uh, I grew up with country music. I grew up with WTBY FM signing on the air and uh, the very first FM in this area. And uh, shortly thereafter, Farley Taylor put the old TaylorMade Opry on the air and Charlie uh, Gilmore continued carrying the torch. And uh, last year they approached me and uh, I've worked in and out of radio all my life and love the music and know the music and just enjoy interacting with the people at 95.5 WTBY. So Saturday nights, it's the old music. It's the grand old music of, uh, of uh, country. And, uh, and it's with it. Brother Ricky Carter. That's right. That's now, right. another side of you, Ricky, is you used to be a much bigger Brother Ricky Carter. I was big Brother Ricky Big Carter. Brother. Let's take a look at some of his before pictures. That doesn't even look like you. Uh, that was several years ago. That was uh, early in 2006. And uh, I had battled uh, weight problems all my life and had tried just about every diet you can think of. It still doesn't look like you. I mean, your face even looks different. It does. It, uh, I was struggling with uh, health issues, uh, di uh, close to being diabetic, and had arthritis and uh, sleep apnea and uh, high blood pressure and just all the things associated with uh, that type of weight. And uh, one day my doctor approached me and he said, uh, have you ever considered a weight loss surgery and I said well quite frankly doc I consider it a, a bit of a cop-out you know I, I think I, I should be able to lose this on my own and if I can't I should have to live with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> live with it but that he was told a me, big man right there and he told me that was the night before surgery the photo you're looking at right there was mm -hmm. the night before surgery in November of 2006 and he told me uh, if you don't consider some type of uh, drastic measures you may not be around with us much longer and uh, so I did and I went through some uh, you know, some tests and psychological tests and physiotherapy tests and all the the battery of tests associated with uh, that weight loss surgery that must uh, prepare you for it, mm -hmm. uh, both mentally and physically. And uh, then in November of 2006, I had the surgery. And uh, six, uh, six months after surgery, let's put that picture back up of the mm -hmm. uh, beach. That's six months after surgery, and you can already see a, a drastic difference in mm -hmm. my uh, And you began immediately groups. to feel better. Oh, absolutely. I was taking, I was one of the old Vioxx people with the mm, knees. knee problems. And uh, Miss Ann, since I dropped the weight uh, over four years now, I've not even looked back. I, I don't even feel my knees. Well, your surgery was successful. However, a lot of people, for some reason or other, it is not successful. It's not, and, and that's a shame. I, I, uh, my heart goes out to those who who go through what I went through and then struggled uh, with weight after that. I have been blessed though. And I have... Now, do you have to do a certain exercise? Can you eat normally? How does this work? It took quite a while for me. I was stubborn. It took uh, several years for me to finally listen to my body post-surgery and know exactly what it is I can handle and what I can't. Sometimes I still overdo it. I I'm not... Uh, I can't eat, eat what too I much used to. Cream pie shakes or something like that. Sure, I got to watch the sugars, got to watch the fat intakes and things like that. But for the most part, uh, moderation. And eating healthy. And eating healthy. I do a lot of that. In fact, I think I ate nothing but watermelon. <laughs> <Is laughs> That's that good healthy? for you. Uh -huh. That is good. I love collards and I love mm -hmm. watermelon, and I, you know, I still eat uh, most of what I used to eat. Uh, again. Just not table full of it. Most certainly. Now, how tall are you, Ricky? I'm six two. 
And how much did you weigh at your height? I weighed right at about 355 pounds. You were heading toward 400. Oh, easy, easy. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was just down the road. I, I struggled with uh, uh, nicotine addiction. I quit smoking and immediately started putting on weight. And that was uh, late in 1999 when I had pneumonia and I quit smoking because of the pneumonia. And within 30, uh, 90 days, I'm sorry, I put on 90 pounds in 90 days, Miss Ann. I just, I had given up. I realized that, uh, you know, you hey, this smoking thing. You swap one addiction thing, to that's another. That's right. I can quit this smoking thing. There's nothing to it. And uh, while I'm packing my face with pork rinds, you know, to keep mm -hmm. from smoking cigarettes. And I, I, lost, I lost control at that point. And uh, it just escalated. Oh, wow. But thank heavens you're this size. You're what, about uh, 195 now? Well, I'm right at 200. Right yeah, that's a good, because you're tall, you've got big bones, so that's The doc good. wanted me right around somewhere between 2 and 220, and I've been uh, successful at maintaining that for four years, so I'm well, happy. Well, keep up the good work, and we'll listen to Brother Ricky Carter. Good. What time do you come on on Saturday 7 o'clock, and as uh, Farley used to say, till the straddle of the night. Till the straddle of the night. 95.5 WTBY, the Legends Radio Show, with yours truly, Brother Ricky Carter. And, of course, you know Brother Ricky is not quite as big as Brother Ricky, but he's still dino Mike. Ricky Carter on Legends Radio and right here during the week as one of our great engineers.